Hey guys and welcome to Josie Nectar and for this video we're going to be doing a review on the Avengers Infinity War. Now if you have not seen the movie yet this is a spoiler even though we're going to be telling you guys what we liked um, as far as the scenery, as far as um, the CGI, as far as the acting and then our um, sweets and our stickies, our pros and our cons to the movie. So if you have not seen this movie Please be noted that it is a spoiler alert. And here to help me again is my husband, Johnny. Johnny, say hi. Uh. <laughs> All right. And we're first going to start with the, well, maybe how it look first. I think so. Yeah, okay. Um, of course, it's CGI heavy. It's pure science fiction. Every, not everything, but most of it takes place in space. Mm -hmm. uh, good, good CGI. Okay. Standard CGI. Right there. Yeah, I think so. Like for a minute, it seemed like the CGI was a bit much in the beginning with um, Thanos and Loki. But because I, I couldn't tell what he was holding. I didn't know it was Thor until later. Oh, well, I'll give you that one. Yeah, right? I it's like I couldn't even, one. I couldn't tell that that was Thor, that he was just like grabbing. It almost looked just like a random guy. But, yeah. You know, then they, you know, they should have eye patch or whatever. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I give you that one. Like I said, that was kind of heavy, um, ba mainly just the, the space scenes. Because anywhere else in New York, um, all of the CGI was really done by, uh, was done with the Doctor Strange and everything. So yeah. it wasn't too much. Well, um, how do you think they did with Thanos himself? How did he look to you? He was CGI, like, obviously, but it wasn't extremely to CGI, but you can definitely tell that that wasn't like makeup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I agree. I think they did a good job. I mean, yeah. It looks just like Josh Brolin, the actor. I mean, I, I, I was hesitant on how Thanos was going to look at first, but they did a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. It's weird seeing him without his, uh, you know, his arm on at all times. Right, with the. Yeah. The, um, the helmet. The helmet and, and yeah, yeah. It's weird not seeing him with that on all the time, but. Like, it makes sense. Yeah. Show him as, of course, not a human, but a regular guy, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, I would say the one scene that stood out to me as far as the uh, CGI, though, is um, the, uh, well, I'm jumping ahead, but all the way at the end at Wakanda, where you have um, Cap, uh, Black Widow, Rocket, and then and, um, Banner. In, in, in the Hulk Buster, in Iron Man's Hulk, bu uh, Hulk Buster, yeah. that just looks so weird to me. Because everyone else is actually there, but he's in the CGI'd Iron Man oh, machine. Oh, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, yeah. It looked funny. I get you. It did look kind of funny. It looked funky, you know? Yeah. 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 It was like, huh. It kind of took me out for just a second. Mm -hmm. like, it's weird. almost like how um, when... Um, Stark and um, Star Lord and all of them are like on the planet, and um, Tony's face is not CGI or is CGI. Like his face is the only thing that's like not CGI. I don't know. His body's CGI. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But you can tell everyone else seems to be fully there. But since they can't always fully make the Iron Man suit, it's always just his head True. on the suit. True. And for a minute, it was just like, True. It seemed like his head was kind of floating. But not in like, you know, obvious way, but just kind of like you notice. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, the space was just a lot of CGI, but it, you need you, you, you need it. Because you need all the space scenes. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Um, the acting, what do you think about the acting? The acting was standard for Marvel. Yeah. 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 You don't go there for outstanding acting, but it was, you know. <laughs> I was like, you don't go for outstanding acting. Do you not know who Tony Stark is? That's outstanding acting. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> everyone, you're familiar with the characters. Yeah. Right? I guess the, the new person would be Thanos. Mm -hmm. Great job by Josh Brolin. He's a great Thanos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You said he's supposed to be in Deadpool, right? He's the guy in Deadpool. He's Cable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah, as far as acting, the only one you really got to judge is, is Thanos because he's the only newcomer, really. But 
Yeah, great job, man. Yeah, yeah. And I think also that, like, um, even the actors, they try to um, work together to... You remember how last time we said that uh, the Avengers, they just found a great team, they all get along well? I think trying to do that with every every uh, group with the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers and Thor and bringing in Doctor Strange and it's just kind of like they all need to work together to make this believable. Yeah. And I think they did a pretty good job, which is probably why it had to be semi-funny, semi-serious, because it's just too many funny people in that movie. I get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, well, like I was saying, the vibe, which is next thing, is the funny. It was funny and serious. They gave you really big highs and really low lows. They gave you, you know, funny and then they killed someone off. Funny and then they almost killed someone off. Funny and then the world's destroyed. Like, you just, a bunch of highs and a bunch of lows. It definitely felt more like a, what movie is like that? Not like a Cap. A cap is, it felt like an Iron Man movie actually. What do you think? A lot of jokes, but also sprinkle with a bit of serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like that type of vibe. The jokes almost took me out of it, at, in the beginning at least, but yeah, you get used to it, but it's still, it was joke heavy for a movie that's serious. It starts off so serious, I mean the movie starts off no music, no, and it just has this real somber and dark tone, mm -hmm. but then we start cracking jokes and, and of course with the ending, which we'll talk about later, but it, the jokes almost took me out of it. it was. There were one joke away from going overboard. <laughs> one fell to it being fat. <laughs> I agree though. It was just, it was really joke heavy. It was like, like what are you guys trying to do exactly. here? Exactly. You know? It, it, all those jokes were not necessary, I don't think. Well, like I said, maybe they thought that they needed it, needed it because of course you got Guardians of the Galaxy, which is always pretty funny. Um, Spider-Man, which is, you know, friendly nearest Spider-Man, yeah. you know, and then, who else did I say? And then the, the feud between Doctor Strange and Iron Man, they're always jokey, and their movies are always kind of funny, yeah. so yeah. you can try to put all them together. Get and Thor. And then Thor, you know. You're you know, keeping up with Ragnarok from Thor. So right, right, really right, right, and they're joking and stuff like that, so they tried to, like, really keep that joke that's true. thing going, but, that's true. yeah. All right, so let's get to our sweets and our stickies. We're gonna do sweet first or sticky? I'll uh, do sticky. I mean, okay, stickies, right? Just the uh, joke. Uh, okay. That's the jokes more than anything. I mean, it was almost too much. It, it almost took me out, of it. but not quite. That's 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 the only sticky I could think of. Everything else was as it should be. I think they get it good job of giving everyone equal story time. Again, I would say that Cap, again, Cap, Falcon, and Black Widow didn't get much of an introduction again. But, I mean, hey, this is the final two movies, so yeah. some things just gotta happen. Yeah, you don't really need, a, you know, Cap, I guess. You know, he went away, came back, went away, came back, whatever. You know, you do his thing. You know he's gonna come back and he's gonna be the soldier that you need and the leader that you need, so it doesn't matter. Yes. You know? Yeah, I, I agree. That is a, 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 a bit of a sticky. Um, I don't know, I don't know, can I call everyone's death a sticky? I can't, I can't do that. I just dislike it, but it's not a sticky. Because yeah. it got like a good reaction out of me. Yeah. Like cried like four times. Yeah. So I guess I can't exactly call that sticky. Well, what do you mean by everyone's death? Like, okay, so like Tony almost dying was like, that's when I started crying. Like Loki dying, I was like, getting emotional and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Oh my goodness. And then the Tony got stabbed and I'm like, no, that's not right. And I started crying that he was okay. I'm like, oh, he didn't do it. And then, you know, he just started popping off everyone. Then Groot was gone. Then, um, okay, so who all was it? was Groot, um, Bucky, uh, T'Challa, uh, Star-Lord, both of the aliens, uh, Gamora, I forgot about her. Gamora, 
Yeah. Um, I miss a couple more people. Um, right. It's just it's, it's just so many. I mean, he killed half the universe. So. But he didn't kill half of that. Uh, I know. I'm still sad about it. That's all. Spider Man. I didn't want to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sad about it, that's all. Uh, but yeah, that's not exactly a sticky, that's just kind of something I'm just like, man, it just kind of sucked. Yeah. Like, I'm going to watch it again so I can cry again. <laughs> um, okay, the jokes, okay, back to things, are right. Okay, so the jokes is definitely a sticky. The CGI was almost a sticky. Oh yeah, sticky for me was the music. The music was so grandioso. It was like watching, like, like a 300 space movie <laughs> like they wanted it to be big they want you to feel that they were the ish you know they was like dun, 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 dun. and i'm like okay calm down it's only cap like <laughs> chill out <laughs> you know it was just really big and i feel like they were like a note away from just being like look just turn off the music yeah. because y'all y'all want to be big there was they almost overdid it like um like uh the composer uh, or the music editor, whoever, um, overdid it in um, Batman vs Superman. Every introduction was like Damn. Batman, and then Superman, and then Wonder Woman, and then uh, who was the monster again? Um, whatever. And it was just like always so big and grandiose. And it's like we met them already. You don't have to put this big orchestra thingy with together I don't know but it was just yeah, after a while it was just kind of annoying I was just yeah. like uh, okay, I can be done with that now I uh, that's definitely a sticky for me do you have another sticky? Not anything. just the jokes everything else was as it should be mm -hmm. I thought I have one more I did have one more Well, you didn't feel everyone got equal. Well, yeah, but... Screen time was that a sticky, though? No, I don't think that's, like, a sticky, because I don't think he needed screen time. All right, uh, then a uh, sweet... Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. A couple of sweets is, uh, for me, that... I, if, it seems like they fit a lot into... Because I, I, I don't know the comic books. I haven't, I haven't read them, you know. Everywhere I haven't read them, you know, the Infinity War or Infinity Gauntlet. So to me, it was like, well, what can possibly happen in the next one? Because yeah. the, the world is half destroyed. The universe is half gone. He won. He's on his private island watching the freaking sunset or sunrise, which I don't understand. Like, are you watching the rise or set? Like, where are you in the universe to where the sun still exists closely like that to you? Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. He just he just upset me. Like Peter didn't have to die. Like I don't understand why why you did that to my heart. Like Loki didn't have to die within the first seven minutes of the movie. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's a that that's a pro for me, a, a sweet for me. I don't know what to expect next and that's that's you know, that's a good sweet though. I don't know, you know I don't know what to expect. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my first week would be to be the fact that of seeing all those characters together on the screen. You know, again, you just got Doctor Strange showing up in <laughs> Central Park to <laughs> call Iron Man on a mission, and then, right, just looking at like, right, and then Bruce Banner <laughs> comes out of nowhere, like, hey, Tony, yeah, and then, you know, they're all fighting together. I mean, just the spectacle of it all is just amazing. Yeah, right? yeah, it just yeah. makes you geek out just by seeing them all on screen together. <laughs> Like right. immediately, it's all you really needed. And again, like you know, ten years of building these characters up, getting to know them, and oh, yeah. just throw them all. It, it was a true to life comic book movie, man. Oh yeah. You know, it's just like you're reading a comic, and like yeah, you get, yeah, Spider Man and Tony Stark and Doctor Strange all fight with each other. That's what happens in the comics. I mean, they they pulled it off, man. Yeah. Okay. yeah it, was, it was awesome to see. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, another sweet for me is, um, it's like a sweet and a surprise sweet for me. I didn't expect a lot of the movie to happen in space and not 
on Earth. I expected a little bit more on Earth, but it seemed like it was maybe like 60, 30, 60, 40, I mean. Yeah. You, you know? Yeah. To yeah. like space to Earth ratio. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. It was pure science fiction, this one. Yeah, it was different from all the other. Yeah. Pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Thors take place in space. But this one was still even more science fiction than that, I think. I thought the most science fiction was, well, well, not the most, but like Age of Ultron. It's pretty well, science fiction, I yeah. I get that one. With this one, like, blending science fiction and fantasy together for this one. I mean, you got magical dwarves making axes. <laughs> you know, and I mean, Thor fucking uh, bringing the life a dead star. <laughs> then holding it together, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. I fantasy, get you. science fiction, and that. I man. get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. I get you. All right, now we're gonna talk about things we liked and disliked. Not stickies and sweets about the movie, but about events and people and stuff in the movie. Well, I guess I got one more sticky then. Oh, okay, they're sticky. Uh, simple fact that they actually stayed true to the story. Uh, sticky or sweet? Sweet. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the fact that they actually stayed true to the story. Uh, mm -hmm. They they did Thanos justice. You know, um, I was hesitant as far as what they would do in the movie. Would they put in everything he did in the movie from the comics? That is, but. They, 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 they went there, yeah? Mm -hmm. They went there. And in the end, half the universe dies and Thanos stays and enjoys the sunset. I, I didn't expect that out of this movie, but kudos to the directors, man. They, they, they took a risk. That's true. Well, I don't know if it's true, but yeah. if they did stay true to the comics, then that's true. Yeah, I mean... Again, these movies will be based off what Rebirth of Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. They blended the two, yes, but I like the fact that Thanos actually went and got the Infinity Stones. You had enough time to do that. Um, had enough time to show what was happening to the Earth. Uh, good use of time. Um, nice blending of the two stories. Uh, I, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. He said your last week? Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, so things we dislike about the movie, not as far as production or design or editing or anything like that, but just scenes and people and stuff like that. My number one thing I disliked, person I disliked in the movie was who, babe? Star-Lord. Star-Lord, you know what? Alright, sorry, camera died. Right, so um, let's see. The person that I disliked was uh, Star Lord, and that's because he was an idiot and he messed up twice. <sighs> they could have gotten the stone the second time. I don't know if the first time he was won or lost. Or, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, he really made me upset. I disliked that about the movie. I just it just upset me. Wait, anything good, babe? I mean, anything you dislike? Um, there's nothing I really disliked about the movie, of course, other than the jokes we discussed. Um, Star Lord acting the way he did was, I think, in character with him. Again, he's a little boy that's around nothing but leaders, like you said earlier. I mean, he's going to act out that way, especially when you. Found out that Thanos kills Gamora. I mean, he's gonna act irrational. He screwed the universe in the end, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Rationality, oh, but, uh, yeah. He, excuse me, he's, he's definitely gonna act irrational. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I liked everything about the movie. I still don't find Doctor Strange to be funny, but. <laughs> yeah, he has a weird sense of humor yeah. for his character. It's like, yeah. I, I don't know. It doesn't uh, attach to me as well. Callie Dipple, 
I their post comedy don't really appeal to my liking. Some stuff is funny, and I think that his next movie would be funny, but it, just, it doesn't appeal to my liking, so I, I kind of put him in the same um, category as, like, Deadpool. Doctor Strange is like Tony Stark, like, you know? <laughs> you know? Tony Stark, like a Tony Stark, like, generic. Yeah, Tony Stark liked, like, you know, the alcohol-free version of Tony Stark. Is he not? He's non-alcoholic Tony Stark. <laughs> yeah. Is it uh, not? I was. They have it almost exactly every same. Yeah. Characteristic. Yeah. 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 Only he's just not as. He doesn't have to pack that punch. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah that's what I definitely do. I don't know. Like I said, it's a solid movie. Yeah. Let's see. What about the things I liked? Uh, things I liked is that. Uh, Tyrion was it from Game of Thrones. That was pretty cool to see him do his thing, being a giant little person. <laughs> a giant little person. A giant dwarf. A giant dwarf. Is he a little person or he a dwarf? Well, he's a dwarf. He's a dwarf? Okay. You know, little people are smaller than dwarfs. Well, I mean, in the movie, he's playing a dwarf. Oh, yeah. But I'm talking about him in the gym. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're right. You're right, 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 right. So yeah, I like that. It was nice to see him in something else. Like I really like him in in stuff. I, yeah. I think he's he's coming up in the world. When you don't even expect it either, he just right. shows up. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I also like uh, the Thor being being by the the star. And you know, really showing his his character. Um, I don't know, that like, like he has nothing to lose. I remember you saying like he. Doesn't have his mom died, his father, brother, sister, planet, people. People. Like, he doesn't have anything. Yeah, like, what nothing. does he have to lose? If he dies by a star, he dies by a star. By a star. <laughs> but if he dies, he dies. Like, it's just kind of sucky, but he's in, he's in a dark but determined place. Speaking of Thor, do you think Jane will show up in the second movie? Natalie Portman? Is she dead? Like, where is she? Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, I just thought about it, but you, you go on. I want to know that one. <laughs> um, as far as something I liked about the movie. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. Where did the red skull come from? I don't know. Yes, I forgot about that. I yeah. forgot. So, I'm trying to think what happened in, um, in the first one. Where did he the go? Stone the stone sucked him away. The stone sucked him away. And it brought him to that planet. Mm. To where the soul stone was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was not expecting. That. I wasn't oh, either. Wow. Right? They came wow. out. And was this? It wasn't the same guy, was it? Yeah, it, I think it, it didn't so. even sound like him. For I a think second. it was him. Yeah, I think so. yeah. I, I did not pay attention to the ending credits though. But, uh, I'll be curious to see if it was. I don't see why. It, 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 right, sound, like, it yeah. sounded like an amazing. Yeah. Like, we'll check the credits. I forgot about that. That was a good one. That was awesome. That was, that was, was like, cool. Oh, okay, okay. That okay, was cool. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. That was awesome. Uh, I also like how Thor like mistakens rocket for a bunny, a rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Come rabbit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, I just, I just, you know, I, I like, I like the, you know, the, the, the whole setup, like that people kind of just, well, not that people. People have to die, of course, and I hate that because I'm just so sad for Peter. Like he has a long life ahead of him, and you just you just kill off Spider Man. Like, what's wrong with you? He's got a second movie. <laughs> yeah. He's got a part two. I know. I'm hurting now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I like your strange said. What do you say? It has happened this way, yeah. or it has happened this way. Which means that something else is coming, whether they, you, what, what, was your, what was your first theory? Whether, I said whether they bring, like, try to get the gauntlet and, like, reverse time, everyone comes back, or or they're in another dimension, yeah, or something. So something like that probably has to happen. Or, or, yeah, some, something of that nature. The um, time stone makes a lot of sense, though. Yeah. But hopefully it's something like that. And if you read the comics... Don't comment below and tell me what happens. <laughs> That's a terrible thing. 
I already know some people do, you know, they're like, oh yeah, because you know, it's yeah. like, thanks. Mm. But, uh, so those are my likings, some of, some of my likings in the movie, but definitely those, you know, uh, seeing Wakanda again is pretty cool. Um, and seeing, seeing Banner and the Hulk fight with each other. That's awesome. That's pretty cool, because the Hulk, the Hulk is shook. He's, he's terrified. He's he's terrified. He's afraid. Like, like you say, he can't turn it to the Hulk because you don't think he's angry anymore. Oh yeah, he's scared. Scared, confused. He gets got body slammed. You know, like a child. Yeah, he really did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he really did. He was almost as bad as Cat Williams fighting that kid. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. Oh. That's what it made me think of. It wasn't as Did bad. Did it really? Yeah. It oh. wasn't as bad. Oh, gosh. I compared it. Things can't win. It's bad. It's bad. It's losing. <laughs> Dang. That's just so funny. I don't know why that's so hilarious. I get you, though. I get you. Oh. Um, uh, also, one more thing I, I dislike was that Loki died in the first seven minutes of the movie. Like, not like I dislike it, like, good, you know, good strategy, but I was just sad again. Yeah, but obviously it has to be done. Yeah, good way to set the tone in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Ultimately. Basically. Yeah, yeah. And then the last credits. You know, of yeah. um, Fury calling Captain Marvel. Yeah. One guy got so excited. Boy, he almost walked out the theater. <laughs> he was so excited. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So everything's being said to motion. So, uh, out of the five, sweetie, what do you give it? Four out of five. Solid film. One out of five. Well, what's, why is the one point missing? Now is it four out of five? I mean, I to actually, is it four out of five for a Marvel movie, or are you just do a movie in general? It's movie in general. Okay, what about Marvel movie? Like, is it in your top five? Definitely in my top five Marvel movies. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, I'm just keeping it strictly with Marvel movies. But it's keeping it strictly with Marvel movies. I'd rather wait until I see part two to judge it as a whole. Mm. I get you. If it's going to be one big store. I get you. Right now we only have half of the store. I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. I was thinking about like, well, you can, no, yeah, you can still judge, but yeah, I, I get you. I was trying to think about how I feel about like Harry but, Potter and stuff. I mean, four out of five. They still had a ton of jokes that were like, you know, almost took you out of the movie again. It had to be, but the CGI, you know, again, it had to be, but it can still take you out a bit yeah. from time to time. Um, I mean, even the Wakanda scene where the, the, the warriors are all getting ready to do battle, that was mad CGI at first, too. Uh, yeah, 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 I saw that. They were, like, hopping off yeah, the stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. do we need CGI, CGI for that? that? Right, for them to hop off shit? So, yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, not a complaint, but it's just like, you know, you're not going to get a perfect score doing stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, solid four out of five. What about you? Out of five. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a four two. Uh, for me, it might be like a a higher four because, like I said, I'm upset about the dust, but in a good way. And I just feel like Marvel never really like done so big of a death for disappearance. What was going on with them at <laughs> at once? You know, it's very like um, what what do they call it? What do you what do you, what do you do? Something about heart strings, tucking on the heart strings, yeah, yeah. kind of like that. So it's like you know, good strategy. So go four out of five. But like I said, the music, kind of like there was like a note away from just being like noxious, like, yeah. like we are Marvel, watch us roar, yeah. <laughs> you know. And I'm yeah. like, I, we know we're all in the theater watching this movie, yeah. you know. So that kind of took me out of it a little bit, and. Uh, 
it, like you said, jokes. One too many, but didn't take me out out of it completely because it is a superhero movie. Now, if it wasn't a superhero movie, I probably would like it. But since like I can see some of the stuff and it feels like I am reading a comic book, I, I, I'll I'll stick with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I have no problem with it. Yeah. So, we give it, I give it a little higher 4 out of 5, 4.23 yeah. out of 5, you give it a solid 4. I give it a solid 4. Solid 4, 4.3, average out to 4 point under 3, <laughs> 4.2, I don't know, I'm not good at math, but that's our review guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, Please remember to subscribe and click that bell button down there someone, somewhere. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, we'll see you guys for part two. Or, or. <laughs> now I feel like, now I feel like Mr. Poopy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, we'll see for part two, or, or for Ant Man, or, or Captain Marvel, or, uh, I don't know, maybe for Deadpool. <laughs> so, yeah. So, have a good night, y'all. Bye.